for today's capacitor bank video. I have a large dead compact fluorescent. It's a 100 watt equivalent CFL bulb that died very quickly. What I've done is separate the tube from the uh, drive electronics and I'm going to pop each separately. As well, I have two 60-watt incandescent light bulbs to try and pop, so today will be a little bulb popping. I don't know if this incandescent bulb will do anything, but let's fire up and give it a try. Charging, charged, and fire. Oh, it did work. Amazing. Heard flying glass and there's no more bulb. I've set up incandescent bulb number two, again a 60 watt incandescent whose filament is completely gone. Charging, charged, and fire. And again we got the rewarding sound of shattering glass. I've got the compact fluorescent bulb hooked up directly by its leads, no driver board. Let's give it a try. Charging, charged, and fire. And nothing. We'll have to try that again. Here's the reason why the compact fluorescent wouldn't pop. Obviously, when it blew, the tube must have cracked because I have an ignition coil power supply that uses a dimmer capacitor and ignition coil. That's that little black box there. That compact fluorescent should be lit right up if it wasn't full of air, but obviously it's full of air, so oh well. The compact fluorescent bulb had air in its tube, unfortunately, and wouldn't burst, but we still have the little uh, power supply board here. Let's give it a try. It should pop. There's a 22 microfarad, 20, uh, 200 volt capacitor on it. Let's see what happens. Charging, charged, and fire. Well, there was a very loud bang there. For the second shot at the uh, circuit board for that bad compact fluorescent light, I've hooked up directly to the leads of the 22 microfarad 250 volt capacitor. Let's see what happens. All set, charging, charged, and fire. Well, again, I heard a nice bang.
Let's try the same thing again. The capacitor swelled, but it didn't burst or fly apart. Let's see what, if anything, we can do. Charging, charge, and fire. Again, an ear-splitting bang, but no explosion of the capacitor, although I can see that uh, one of its legs has been severed by the cap bank discharge. That last shot actually severed both of the capacitor's leads. The capacitor hasn't burst, it only swelled. Must be pretty dried out inside or something, but I've hooked it up alone now. And let's give it a try. Charging. Charged. And fire. Again, a loud bang, but I guess that capacitor's just dried out inside because it will not burst. For this shot, I've hooked up to two random spots on the compact fluorescent circuit board. Charging, charged, and fire. Ah, oh, that was loud and even gave a puff of smoke. Excellent. That last shot actually did a lot of damage to the board, blowing up uh, several 1N4004 diodes that were on there, as well as disintegrating one of the two TO220 cased power tab transistors that were on there. So all in all, a good popping. I was just disappointed that the spiral tube happened to be full of air and wouldn't explode. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back soon enough with more.